Parsa, Parsa, Parsa. Fucking Jewish kids these days, eh? Like that's a 401k plan right there, just like, shh. See you later. I need a job, I'll just jack off all day. Ron Jeremy already stole your job. You're cute as a button though, hey? Thanks for coming out tonight. Yeah. When was the last time you looked at a button and thought, oh my god, I want to take my needle and thread a jam in your hole. I know, right? Sorry, it's alright. You know what? I'm not hitting on you. I'm not a lesbian. I don't even like cats. Uh, in fact, I can't. I don't think I've ever really had a lesbian encounter with a male chaperone. Amanda's the only person who got that fucking joke. If you'd be driving home later, you'd be like, ah, threesomes. Totally got what she's talking about. Fuck. Yeah. Sorry, I understand. Like, I always thought Mr. Wright would find me. And then I realized I'm probably playing a really competitive game of hide and go seek by myself. It's not a game to play by yourself. Yeah. I have a daughter, though. Any parents in the house before? This isn't like an abortion dream, like one of those talks. This is going to get fucking awkward right now. Um, no, I have a daughter. She's 11 now. But... Uh, I got with her dad because his name was Just a Case. <laughs> and I was like, now that I think back, I realize Just a Case probably should have worked on them. But uh, raising a kid, like she's 11 now, so I've got seven years left of this. So good. <laughs> Almost done. <laughs> Thank God. Right? But uh, when she was three, I used to take her to church all the time. It's been a Christian night, hasn't it? With Christian singles, Jewish kids talking about spunk. Fuck it, let's talk about Jesus. So I used to take her to church all the time, right? And I used to give her a tuning and she'd throw out the tithing pot. So I gave her a tuning, she throws in the tithing pot, she comes back and the pot's empty. She looks at me and she goes, Mom, where all the money going? So we gave it to Jesus. And she goes, Jesus stole my money. <laughs> I was like, well, it doesn't really work that way. You know, you give it to Jesus, he gives you back money, like tenfold, you know, you can't get blessed, da da da. Next Sunday we're going to church. And I knock on her door and she's taking forever. Finally she comes out and she's got this brown paper bag full of all of the coins that she saved up in her piggy bank. She's going to give it all to Jesus. She understood exactly what it meant. We end up waiting for church. We end up sitting at the back and they're bringing in new pastors. She stands up on her chair because she's only three. And she goes, Mom! Which one's Jesus? <laughs> it's not here right now. Hey, Mom, this way. Somebody better get their phone. Right over here. Can I get it? Can I get it? Come on, give it to me. Give it to her. Give it to her. Give me the phone. Yeah. Okay. We need to tell jokes tonight. Let's answer phones. Bring me your phone. No? Is this now ringing? No? It's dead now? So is my fucking joke. Oh, look at that. Way to kill it, Helen. Yeah, that's fuck it. We'll save that punchline for another day. Um, so anyways, Kyle was six and she was doing the dishes, that's my daughter's name. She's doing the dishes and finally she comes in and she just speaks and goes, Well, when I'm old enough, I'm going to pay somebody to do the dishes. And I said, well, that's why I had children. It's <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> but she's at that autocorrect stage, I didn't realize it lasted till now, and like it's still happening. So she's at that autocorrect stage, she comes back and she goes, but mom, you only had one kid. And I said, I know, the rest didn't know how to do dishes. <laughs> Driving home, you realize that was an abortion joke. <laughs> I have a mom too, right? Mother's name is this week, so anybody who is a mother who nobody fucking clapped for, so I'm presuming none of you had children. Mother's name was last weekend, and I always wanted to get a tattoo on my ass for my mom, and I wanted to get like an M and an M on each cheek, right? <laughs> Awkward, right? Okay, it's common. <laughs> but I realized one day I was probably gonna get really fucking drunk. And I'd be like, hey guys, watch this. And I'd try to do naked cartwheels, and it'd look like this. Wow, mom, wow. <laughs> and then I'd fall over and go, fuck, ow, mom, ow. <laughs> what I should have been doing the entire time while I was in the bar trying to pick that guy up, rather than trying to do stunts, which I'm not fucking good at, was squeezing my ass cheeks together. So it just said, mmm. <laughs> yeah. I learned a long time ago that 77% of plaque and tartar buildup can be prevented by sucking a dick. 
We got beautiful teeth buttons. Beautiful teeth. <laughs> but that fact makes me think of two things. One, every time I meet somebody and they're missing teeth, I think, fuck, man. You should have been sucking when you were talking. <laughs> and two, it makes me think of my mom, because she has four kids with false teeth. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We just had an election two days ago. And I went to my daughter's school to vote, and I took her out of class. She's like, what are you taking me out of math class for? I said, so I can show you how this works. Come with me, we're gonna vote. Because it's important, right? We have a right to vote. So I wanted to teach her about this, because it's important. So we walk off, and she goes, Mom, I don't need to vote. I voted this morning, we had student vote. And I said, well, now you can learn what it means when it counts. And she's like, you mean my vote didn't count? <laughs> she was so mad at me. And I took her in the box. And she's like, you better put that under the NDP, because if you do not vote for the NDP, you're going to a bad, bad home. <laughs> what a kid, right? I know I've told some awkward jokes tonight, but I'm just going to end on this. You know, a lot of you probably think that I'm kind of a whore. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to end on that. <laughs> but I'm not a whore. I can still count how many men I slept with on one hand. As long as within that hand, I'm holding a calculator. <laughs> a scientific calculator. <laughs> All right, my last name, for the record. My name is Linda Pure Humping. You guys have a great night. <laughs>